Tim. This episode I call The Climb because I'm gonna show you, explain to you, and go over how I climbed out of the pit. If you haven't figured it out by now, I'm a huge Batman fan. So, I'm gonna use a lot of Batman references. Um, anyways, but in The Dark Knight Rises, when Bruce gets put into the pit, um, that's all I could find on the name of it is by Bane, when he basically breaks his back. He, uh, he not only gets himself healthy enough to make a climb, but he fails over and over to make that last jump from the ledge, or for, uh, from ledge to ledge, with that big gap. About, I guess it's the span of six months or so, eight months or so, they don't really tell you, but based off of the type of injury, using my athletic training background, the type of injury and the type of rehab it would take to get back to where he was, Bruce was, it's at least six months, and Cap's just gonna put his butt in your face, but that's fine, because it makes more of a fun video. Like, it shows you how it gives a little more real tape. Um, but anyway, he eventually talks to the blind prisoner next to him, and the blind prisoner explains that only one person was able to make it out of the pit, and the way they were made, able to make it out was that they never used the rope uh, to make that jump. The way the physiology of that works is that they have the fear, they use that extra fear to spike adrenaline, almost like how you hear stories of people lifting massive stones off of others, like a mom picking up a car off of her kid, things along those lines. Like that's that extra spike of adrenaline that creates a superhuman, uh, the fight or flight reaction. Um, and the prisoner basically explains to him that <laughs> he, to Bruce Wayne, that he has to get rid of the rope if he wants to make that jump. So on that last jump, Bruce shakes the rope and he, he clears the hurdle. He makes that jump and climbs out. Um, so with that, I had to do it the same way I was. I kept falling back. And it's one step forward, two, three, four steps back. Um, so I had to figure out what my rope was, what I had to shed and shake off to get um, to get to that point of making it out. I knew my fears, I guess those were easy. My fear was losing Cap as he keeps walking in front of the camera here. Um, if I kept drinking and doing everything I was doing, I would lose him because I wouldn't be able to take care of him the way that he deserves to be taken care of. Uh, my relationship with my family and my friends would become worse, or would, not worse, but shaky at most, at best, because yeah, I'm doing things to, eventually doing things to hurt them. I hurt someone else while doing with the alcohol, so I eventually started hurting them, and I didn't want to do that. <laughs> At least he's being good on this take. It's the last one I had to, it's a lot better than this. But anyway, this guy is my, he's been my savior. He's been my rock, and you're going to stop that. Good boy. Um, I had to find a way to make myself uncomfortable to climb out. And the one thing that's kind of come back over and over with me is I put up this tough exterior, this hard exterior. Um, almost like uh, another blast from the past, another reference from the past, like the Gargoyles on Disney. They're on Disney Plus, by the way. Um, it's a lot different than what I remember. But anyway, how they shut their hard, tough exterior at night, that's kind of how I was. Uh, during the day, I'd have this tough, hard, tough exterior. I'd be able to block things out. I'd be able to keep things, especially when I'm with a group of people. And I had to shake that off enough to allow some emotion to show through, um, to show a little vulnerability. I I don't like that. I've never liked that. Um, I think it's something from the past, like from my past, that. I, I couldn't show that side for some reason. Uh, and that's something I'm still working on. Figure, trying to figure out why I can't show that side. Why I don't like, the, not like, 
and getting better than why I couldn't. Um, so throughout this video, I'm gonna show a training montage of sorts, um, kind of Rocky style. I'm gonna quote one of my favorite, probably one of my favorite actors, and one of my favorite, another one of my favorite characters, uh, Rocky Balboa. Um, and I'm gonna talk, go over to you guys, as I'm explaining, the video is showing, I'm gonna talk about how, like other ways to kind of share that vulnerable side, to kind of get over that fear of, you know, like to get over that, not the fear, the fear is there, it's gonna be there. Um, how you handle it is kind of what makes you stronger, what makes you better. But I'm gonna explain more of how I sure got over my rope, or shed my rope, let it go, and made that jump to, become a better, happier, healthier version of Tim. Um, strong and sober, as my shirt says. Um, so, I'm gonna cut it off here and kind of figure out what's next for all of us. The next, yeah. I'm gonna see how I like this one. Ah!